Hi students, I just wanna take a moment to, pre to prepare you for the assessments that are coming up. So there are two types of assessments and I just wanna let you know what to expect. One of them is quizzes. Now quizzes are low stakes. There, there are a limited amount of attempts. There's only about two to three attempts. And we do that because we want you to really focus on understanding the material. And so you can't just answer the questions willy nilly and move on. And you're not just meant to just get it done. It's meant to teach you. There is an unlimited amount of time with these quizzes though. So you can take your time to really understand the material. In fact, we encourage you to use your notes. We encourage you to use the practice material to to really understand what's going on. The other type of material is tests. Now quizzes are meant to give you basically an anxiety check so that you can know what to expect. So you know you can lower that anxiety for the test. The test is the major portion. It's the high stakes thing. You only get one attempt on the test. We really wanna understand what's going on. And there's a limited time. In fact, once you click start, a time limit will appear and you only have that amount of time to take that test. We do this for two reasons. One, we want to make sure you're not cheating. We don't want you guys to jump onto Google and search for all the answers or to phone a friend and collaborate. We really want you to understand the material. That also lets you understand the material. You have to know it and you have to know it really well in order to be able to do that within that certain amount of time limit. Now, and also to curb cheating, the questions and the answers all are all randomized. In fact, what we've done is we've made a large test bank and those questions are pulled from that test bank. And so your questions are going to be completely different than anybody else's in the class, not only the questions, but the answers themselves. So you really need to rely on knowing the material. So what are some ways to help? Well, one thing you should do is seek out and use resources to help you in your learning. Make flashcards, actually practice the material. That's one good way to do things. Attend the live teacher discussions through Google Meet and actually ask questions. It's really important to be able to be persistent and put yourself out there. Use things like pens and highlighters and, and your interactive notebook or pages, whatever you're doing, highlight things on your page and really interact with the work. And I'm gonna emphasize that word interact. A lot of people just do the work and then throw it aside. And that's just not good enough. You need to go back. You need to revisit the material. Think of your own questions. Come up with your own solutions. Uh, go to Schoology. We've added those discussion areas. Each week has a new discussion thread. Post questions. Questions are a great way to learn the material. In fact, us teachers will use those questions to try to answer them. But better yet, answer questions. If you want to know the better way to learn is to go and try to answer those questions yourself, especially if you don't know it. If you don't know how to answer a question, go learn it, then go back to the discussion thread and answer it so other people can benefit from your answers. Use Google, do Google searches, or go on YouTube and find some other tutorials. We'll do our best to provide tutorials for you, but going and finding somebody else's tutorial, another teacher from a different school, some of the YouTube videos are really helpful to get different perspectives. Be self-directed. This is gonna be hard and during this time where we're kind of left up to our own devices. You have a week to get things done, so make SMART goals. SMART means specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. So think about when you wanna get things done. At the beginning of the unit, the very front of the week, we put a pacing guide. Maybe follow that pacing guide if you need some help. That's kind of a SMART goal in itself. Follow each step week by week, going and completing each item timely and do it quickly. There's a calendar posted on Schoology, follow that calendar. We might post updates in the updates feed, follow those updates feed, and especially for each of the materials, follow the direction to a T to really understand what's going on. Don't try to skip steps just to get things done. Make a to-do list. Try to actually think about what you need to do each day and follow that routine. Routines are really important. Don't copy off of others. We do encourage you to collaborate during the week and while you're learning, but don't just flat out copy somebody else's work. You're not learning anything by doing that. You're just becoming a copy paste machine. And finally, look at the learning targets. Make sure you know what the learning targets are for the week and that you're revisiting them often and you're able to answer them. Those are super important, as well as the essential question from each of the materials. Be motivated. Find ways to be motivated to learn and be motivated. Be excited about what's going on. Don't think of this as a trying time. Think of this as a time to grow and to learn new skills. Get out and take a walk. Go outside and just make sure you get some fresh air every once in a while. Don't stay cooped up all day. Be thinking about your past, your present, and your future. More importantly, the present. What's going on now? Why are we doing this and why is this important? And the future. How could this help me in the future? 
put away your phone. I know it's super tempting to just leave that thing near you, to be checking those Snapchats and to be ch constantly having Netflix in front of you. Put it away. Take your earbuds out. Put your, put your headphones away. No, it is not useful. It is not helpful to be putting uh, music in. It does not actually help. It actually just causes a distraction. We can't multitask that way. So put it away. Don't waste your time. Get things done in a timely manner and don't waste your time. Set out a schedule and follow that routine. Lastly, eat healthy. It's important. It helps your brain grow. Helps those chemical connections go on in your brain. Finally, be persistent. Like I said, it's a trying time. Things around us are going crazy, but we can be persistent. We can persevere through this. Have a growth mindset. Don't just say, I can't do this. Say, I can do this. Don't just say, ah, this is this is dumb. Say, this is great. Stay focused. You can do it. Be grit. Have grit and get back on that horse. All right. Good luck with the assessments, guys. I know you're going to do great if you keep these things in mind.